Hi everyone. Today's art journal prompt is tissue paper. Um, so I am going to be using some bleeding tissue paper. You can use any kind of tissue paper you like for this, whether it's patterned gift wrap um, as, as a background. Um, you could even use napkins um, if, if you don't have any tissue. I think that would classify it as being tissue paper as well. Now, this is bleeding tissue paper, um, which reactivates when um, it comes near near water. I got mine from The Works, which is a shop here in the UK, and this pack of 100 sheets was a pound. Um, if you, it, now, there are, there are different types of tissue paper, and not all of them um, will, will work for what I'm going to, to, to do next. You need them to reactivate with, with water to get the um, effect, and not all of them, them do. Um, so if you put in bleeding tissue um, into a Google search or Amazon, um, plenty will, will come up. They vary in price. Some, some are quite expensive, whereas a lot of the kids' tissue paper will work in much the same way, but it is trial and, and error. So as I say, mine was a pound from the works. It comes in a pack with all these different colours here. Um, I've just pulled out a few. Um, let me just get rid of that a second. I've decided that I'm going to use yellow, um, two shades of green, a pink, a purple, well cerise pink purple a pale pink and this this turquoise here um, now I'm doing two pages I'm going to do one um, that I shall use for embellishments and I've cut a load of circles just in four colors for this I've got the cerise pink um, the purpley blue here and the the turquoise and I've just cut out three different different sizes I've just cut those by hand and the easiest way to do it is to grab a sheet of paper it's so thin it's a bit tricky to cut and to fold it into four um, and then just you can see what I've done here I've just cut out um, so I get four at a time three different size circles and I probably won't use um, all of them um, so that's going to be for my background so I'll work on on that later um, sorry for my embellishment but I just want to work on my background and what I'm going to do for that um, again I've just folded these in half and I just want to cut um, some random shapes I'm going to do lines for this whereas I've done circles for um, the embellishments that I'm planning for, for later I've actually got a, a vague plan um, for, for this one would you believe um, so there we go I've got got two of those and I'm just going to vary the size of of these shapes um, because what I want to do is is try and overlap them so I'm just going to cut as I say sort of various rectangles I'll do some squares as well but this is how I'm I'm doing it and as soon as I've cut these out I'll come back and show you um, what I've I've got I've cut my shapes out and you'll see that I've put them into um, colour groups I've got the greens and the yellows the turquoise and the dark blue and then the light and dark pink so I'm just going to push those off to one side um, just for a moment and then I'm working on watercolour paper because there's quite a lot of water um, involved in this um, and I've cut my usual um, piece of paper to a larger size I've, my, my normal paper is seven by seven and a half inches this is seven and a half by eight inches um, just in case I tear um, around the edges when I remove the masking tape I can trim this down to to size um, and I'm working on this glass plate just so that I could um, attach the, the watercolour paper so what I am going to do now let me just check that um, I'm in camera for you yes I am I've got a water bottle and I'm going to spray it I want to um, have some white space um, left over but I'm going to work um, with the with the colours for instance I want the dark colours um, the blues down here then I shall have the pinks in the middle and then the greens and the yellows at the top just so that I don't end up with with mud because of course these are going to bleed um, and I don't want a horrible muddy muddy mess and I'm just going to keep spraying with water as I go along and I'm going to try and be random about this. I am trying desperately hard not to over overthink it. You know me though, and um, I do have a tendency to do that. So we'll, we'll see what I end up with. Um, then I want some of this lovely pinks um, in, the, in the middle. And I'm just going to play around with this until I sort of end up with a pattern um, that um, is pleasing to, to my eye. 
Right, now this is the pattern that I've got and I sprayed it again with water and then I just went over it with my kitchen towel like this just to mop up some of the excess water. And now I'm going to come in with my heat tool and just give it a dry and you'll know when it's dry because um, all the pieces of tissue paper will just fly fly off. You will get some warping with this but um, that's just the, the nature of the game. So as soon as they start to, to peel off, I'll come back and show you again. It's starting to blow off now, can you see? and they'll just fly off and then you should hopefully be left with the pattern um, under, underneath. Now I've dried it and I just feel that um, this area here hasn't quite um, taken as much as I would like so I'm just going to uh, add my tissue paper back over again. Um, I'll re-wet it and then I'll repeat the, the process until I'm happy with the way that, um, that it looks. I just think this looks so pretty and I just feel that I just want a couple more dark bits um, just, just here. So I'm going to spray it with water, add my tissue. Um, that one I just want to chop down and you can just keep playing with this until you get um, a layout that, um, that, that you like. So I'll overlap that one there and then I want some darker bits in the middle here. So I'm just going to add that one there like that. And we can overlap this one and then we can in fact no I think I'm happy with that so I'm spraying it and then I'm just coming over with my kitchen towel and then I'll dry it and just look how pretty the kitchen towel looks around the edges and I've put some distress ink in wilted violet on um, my palette here I've put quite a lot on um, because I don't want to add any water but I just want to add some circles to this page and I'm just going to add them all the way all the way down like like this there we go I'm happy with that and then I'm going to come in with um, one of my bottle lids I've had to hide these from Louis today he's been an absolute monkey he hasn't been into my craft room for absolutely ages but today he's been after all the bottle lids again So there we go, I'm happy happy with that. So I'm going to give this a dry. In fact, what I think I'll do as well is just add a few random circles. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now I just want to add a bit of stamping. I'm going to use my Distress Oxides in Broken China and I've got um, an indigo blue background stamp. So I'm just going to ink this up and just add some detail. Where do I want it to go? Let's have one up here like this. Um, turn it around the other way actually and do one at the other end. There we are. And then I can have one maybe here. Turn it around the other way and we'll do the same the other side. Yeah, and I quite like the way that that looks. Um, so I'm going to give that um, a dry. I want a bit of white to lighten everything up. So I've got a piece of a credit card here and I've put out some white acrylic um, paint. And I'm just going to add some clusters of, of lines like, like this. Sort of up and down my page. Yeah, I like that, and I think as well we'll have some going in the opposite direction why not well, I nearly put my finger in it then to smudge it and I think I'm happy um, with that. I decided I want to add some white circles with this um, bottle lid here so I'm going to add a few of those this one's actually nice and um, nice and thin. Try not to think about where you put it just stick it down and I'm going to try and bring some out to the side as well. There we go.
I've got quite a lot of white paint um, left here so I've watered it down and I'm just going to add a few splatters and yeah I just really like that and I think I'm going to do the same as well um, with some blue so that I can just have some on the on the outside so I'll clear this up to do the same um, with some azure blue I've got this um, it, well, in fact it's enamel acrylic paint by um, folk art it's a plaid one it was 50p in the scrap store in fact actually it was three for a pound which I thought was a bargain so I'm just going to try and yeah you see I like that that's just balanced everything everything out for me love that My background is off to one side drying and I've just grabbed a piece of mixed media paper and I've done the same thing with the tissue paper just using the circles that I cut out earlier. Um, they've had a good spray with water and I've mopped them up with tissue paper so I'm going to dry these um, so that I've got um, a background to use for some embellishments. Right, So here it is, it's all dried now and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the splatters but this time I'm going to add some cerise pink, pale blue and white. This is how the background looks for my um, embellishments and I just love that. I decided to stick with just um, the pale blue and white and not add the pink because I just think it will make it too busy. I've also been mopping up the leftover paint and inks as I've been going along. This one has got some of the azure blue and the distress ink in wilted violet um, and then I've splattered with um, white and pale blue. You can't really see the... In fact, no, I mopped up with white and then splattered with the, the pale blue. So there's three of, of those. I thought I'd cut them in ATC but I've got my measurements muddled up and then this is my background and I just absolutely love that so what I want to do now is flip this over and just look how gorgeous oh let me just show you this as well just look at this piece of kitchen towel where I've been mopping up isn't that just gorgeous um so I want to stamp some some butterflies um I've got two of my butterfly stamps here I've got the um large one and the the medium size one and I'm just going to see I'm not going to think about it I'm not even going to look at the front I'm just going to just get cram as many of these butterflies on here as I can and then I'll cut them out it didn't take me long to read realize that if I stamped um, the butterflies on the back um, that I wouldn't have any of the detail on the front so I've just stamped them all over the front and I'm going to fussy cut these. I've fussy cut my butterflies um, and I've inked around the edges and I've also added some wire um, antenna and that's just using a piece of craft wire folded in half and then bent um, at the edges with my round nose pliers um, and I just want to show oh I've also um, gone over with a pit marker this is the graphic line marker the bodies in in the center and I just want to show you what a difference that makes this is one of the butterflies that's just fussy cut out before the body has been blacked out and before I've inked around the edges and just look the difference it makes um, it just really makes them them pop so definitely definitely worth spending the extra time doing doing that so here's my gorgeous background well at least I think it is anyway um, I've inked around the edges with some black um, archival ink using a makeup sponge I've also um, before I added the border I did add some more tissue paper just to extend the edges outwards just because I felt everything was sort of you know very down the middle um, and didn't look quite balanced and then I've added a few more circles just to balance things out um, so now I need to add my butterflies um, I've got five of them three of the large butterflies um, and then two of the smaller ones so I shall have a play around with this off camera and decide how I want to lay these out and position them you know what I'm like um, regarding composition and then my quote this week is sometimes when things go wrong all you need is a little splash of colour. Hang on a second, I can't pick it up. Where's it gone? There we go. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, that's a <laughs> strange quote to have. I had um, an idea in my head at the beginning of the week for an art journal page and it just all went horribly wrong. I got off to a good start with the neon tags, absolutely loved those, then decided I was going to do um, an art journal page using one of my napkins and I just could not get it to work and the harder I tried, the worse it got and I think sometimes you've just got to learn and I, it took me two days of fiddling before I decided to just give up and it's not like me to give up and I've just 
parked it and I, I may well revisit it at um, a later date but I think I got myself into a real stew and so decided to do um, this instead and I'm really happy um, that I did. I think the colours are just absolutely gorgeous and I just love how this has turned out. So I'm going to go away, play with my positioning, um, glue things down um, and then I'll come back when it's glued into my journal. And here we are, here's my finished page. I just absolutely love how this has turned out. I've mounted it in a new journal for this week because my other one just got so fat that the spirals have started to come apart so um, onto a new one I've decided to go with the black journal this time lots of you ask me where I get my journals um, from I work um, on a loose piece of mixed media paper in this case this week it was watercolor and then I just glue things into a scrapbook journal um, I picked this one up from Hobbycraft they're £2.50 each which is um, incredibly reasonable and I just think it makes my work look look neat I prefer working on loose leaf paper because the spiral just gets in, in the way and it takes the pressure off if I make a huge mistake as well I'm not sort of ripping pages out um, willy-nilly not many go wrong but as you know this week's page surely did anyway I hope you like that um, I hope you'll give the bleeding tissue at, at some point a, a try as well but I look forward to seeing how everybody decides to interpret um, the, this prompt as I say sort of you know tissue is 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 the prompt but but napkins um, I'll include with with that as well um i've dated my work this week as well i managed to acquire one of these um stamp things um so yeah um there you go monica because monica is always nagging me about um dating my work anyway as I say, if you like that, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up because it just lets no, uh, YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And as usual, if anybody would like to join a supportive art journaling group, I'll leave the link to art journal prompts in the description box below. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.